Hi, welcome back to Cooking with Grandpa. Lorenzo and Grandpa, right here to do another video. Today we're gonna to make tapioca pudding. It's a great recipe. We did it in 2018, and we wanna redo it to make it a little better. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is I have a quart of milk, and I have a half a cup of small pearls. Pearls, <laughs> and I'm going. To, and I had them soaking for a couple of hours. If you can't do that, don't worry about it. But it's good to do it if you can. Okay, I put my pearls and my uh, milk into a three-quart pot. Use a big enough pot because you know, as anything with milk on the stove it has a tendency to boil over. And I'm going to I'm going to simmer this. When it comes to a boil, I'm gonna simmer it for at least 30 minutes. You have to soften up them per pearls. And while we're doing this, we're gonna to go to our next procedure. Okay, now we got this up to a simmer, as you can see. You gotta keep your eye on this because it'll go over if you don't keep an eye. Nice low simmer like that. I got it set for 30 minutes. I'm gonna cook it for 30 minutes until they're clear. As I, we're gonna do in this, we'll keep the covers tilted like that. I separated three eggs. I used the hand method. You can use whatever method you like to separate them, but my advice is always separate the eggs right out of the refrigerator, it's easier. And, uh, and then what happens is that we have, our whites are still a little cool. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to put them into this here pot. I just put sink water in there and uh, it's about 80 degrees the water. I want them to get up to around 70. So they're going to warm up in 30 minutes to 70. They, bet they whip better when they're 70. And the yolks, we have our three yolks and we have a third a cup of sugar. We're going to add to that and we're going to blend that together. This is gonna get mixed into our pearls. Add a, a little while when that's cooked. I, I took a little bit of the milk that I, from the quart just to soften this up a little bit. To make it nice. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with this in a little while when that's cooked. And I don't need all this milk, so I'll put it back in here. Okay, we'll get back to you with the next procedure. Okay, we got about five, six, seven minutes left with this here. It's no exact time. I, w I forgot to tell you that I added a quarter teaspoon of salt to this milk in the beginning. We had no mishaps, it didn't go over, so be careful with it. And scrape the bottom every once in a while. And that, so now we got about five, six minutes left. We wanna do our egg whites. We're gonna make a meringue. Now I told you I put this in warm water because they whip up better when they're about 70 degrees. So we don't need this water anymore. Let's see what they are. See, in a half an hour, they're up to 74, that's great. So now make sure you're mixing utensils are all clean, no fat at all because you won't get your meringue. Put this on here, that's the three egg whites. I have, uh, I have my whip, put it on, and we're gonna start going up to a stiff meringue. We, before we put, start adding sugar, we're gonna go up to about speed eight. And I got a third of cup, the other third of cup of sugar to add to this and two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay, when you get it in here, it took about a couple of minutes. When you get it up to a fourth like that, that's when you start adding your sugar, a little at a time. Don't dump it all in right away. Give it a chance. We 
get this up to a, a medium, a pretty stiff fish. I'll show you what it looks like when we got it right. And while we're doing this, I'm gonna throw this in here now. The vanilla. I'll let you know when this is right, and I'll show you when it's right. Okay, I think we're close to uh, the peak I want. I'm gonna shut this off and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit stiff. That's that's how we want it, just like that. See how it holds its peak a little bit? Good. That's good. Okay. Now we're gonna take this. Okay, we went about 30 minutes, a little more maybe, no problem with that. I want to show you what the pearls look like when they're cooked enough. You see they're almost transparent. I don't know if you could see it with the camera. They're clear now, they were white before. That's good. Now we're gonna take some of this hot liquid and we're gonna put it into this mixture with the egg yolks and sugar a little at a time and keep stirring i'm going to temper this i want to get it up a little warmer temperature before we incorporate it into the pearls anyway that's about all you need to get that up now you take this and you put this back in here all in one shot and you get the stirring again because you don't want to cook your eggs nice and slow keep stirring get that up there so all you want this is to come up to a rolling boil just not just just to start bubbling a little i'll show you that when we get to that point it takes a little while it takes a few minutes Okay, now I kept stirring, and you, as you can see, it's starting to come up to a little bit of a boil. This is similar to our rice stove top rice pudding recipe, our chocolate pudding recipe. You're making kind of like a custard here, stove top custard. Once you get it to that point, I'm gonna put it into this bowl. And that's it for this. Put it into this nice bowl. Of course, now we're going to fold in our egg whites to this here mixture while it's nice and hot. Let me get this into the sink. Now we got our egg whites over here that we got to a nice stiff peak, almost a stiff peak. I'm going to put a little bit in like that. And you fold these in like that. And get them mixed in over and under over and under okay get that first batch in now we're going to start adding another batch again just keep folding okay now we're going to add our last third that's what i usually do it in about three additions Fold this in, and when this is all folded in, I'll get you to the next step. Okay, we folded it all in, our egg whites. Now we just gotta put them into our nice dessert cups. I don't know how many I get. I usually get about 10 to 12 cups on this portion. We'll see. So we'll come to how much you put in them. Okay, we ended up with 10. I thought it was 10, wasn't sure. Now you, you're gonna cool these down in the refrigerator and you can put cinnamon on them, whipped cream on top, 
or sometimes I like to put a little more homemade chocolate syrup, <laughs> sprinkle a little of that on top, but they're great, delicious. All right, thank you. Thanks for coming, thanks for watching. Glad to have you. Don't forget to, underneath the video, in the description, you'll find all the ingredients in volume and in weight. And enjoy it and have a great time. Don't forget to give us a like and a subscription. Bye now.